That's good, thank you. Yeah. For Leah Rensel, there is nothing better than dipping your hands into a bin full of angry bats. And this colony, I think, um, has upwards of 700 little bats all in these bat boxes. You can see his sharp little teeth, they're so tiny. If he bites me, it can't even break the skin. Despite the occupational hazards, researchers are trying to save these bats in British Columbia from a disease that's wiping out colonies across North America, killing bats by the million. White-nose syndrome is being touted as the most catastrophic wildlife disease to hit North America in recorded history. It's caused by a fungus that slowly weakens the animals until they die of starvation. Losing them has consequences because bats play a vital role in pest management, some eating up to a thousand insects every hour. They're out cleaning up things in gardens, right? crops, forests. If we don't have bats, if our natural predator is basically gone from the night skies, then pesticide use will rise. Yeah, yeah well, let's just get this first one done. Scientists don't yet know the long-term impact on the ecosystem of such a drastic decline. To prevent the disease hitting British Columbia, a large new experiment is being launched. White nose prevention on the way. Bat houses are being sprayed with a naturally occurring bacteria that inhibits the deadly fungus. I have a lot of hope that this is going to work. Nick Fontaine helped isolate and test strains of bacteria that show promise in protecting the bats. To actually make an impact on preventing uh, bats from actually going extinct or dying by the millions, it's that's amazing. So I like to just open. The hope is these bats will spread the helpful bacteria to others as they migrate and mate, inoculating them against the fungus. This was the first one we did here. Testing the theory is a lot of work. Bagging, tagging, swabbing hundreds of bats, looking for the disease and later to find out if the treatment works. Bats. Bats are particularly cool. So the cool thing about these guys' wings? Enthusiastic but fearful. Rensel worries if it can't be stopped, White Nose will eventually decimate these BC bats. If we were to see the same catastrophic crashes as elsewhere in North America, that would have some long-lasting consequences for our ecosystem. Overall, this program will cost several hundred thousand dollars, involving universities, wildlife conservation groups, and volunteers. Right now, everything is going very smoothly. We're quite excited, but we won't really know how things have, have performed until next summer. High hopes for a project designed to save these creatures of the night from a deadly disease. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Port Coquitlam, BC.